Hey, it's your boy Sergeant Hooked on Henshin. So we are reviewing today episode 27 of Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. Um, I have loved the series from episode one. Um, I do see some of the small complaints that the main story hasn't been touched a whole lot in quite a few episodes. And I do I, I do understand that and I and I think that part of what they're going for is clearly more of trying to like not more, but they're also trying to hit on being thematically, you know, comedic and having like some fun things happen. But there still is a main story happening. And honestly, most of it is touched on in almost every episode. It may not move it forward, but we at least get some kind of reaction or discussion about Kaito's parents, Stacy, the Toji Tendo, uh, finding the gears that um the SD gears that they need to get to SD Topia for the um are pirates, <laughs> uh, and all of that. So, I mean, like, sure, not every episode is moving it forward, but honestly, Sentai as a whole, and even Ryder, have filler throughout their entire shows, almost. So, it doesn't it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers other people. I know that when you're getting excited about the story, you're like, oh, come on, I want to see what happens next, and it's kind of a letdown when it doesn't move forward as much. But this one did a pretty good job. So, jumping off the of last episode, Kaito's mom, uh was able to escape from the Toji Tendo, and she used the uh, parallel world um, portal projector thing to leave. Um, and, because uh, Ishiro's very incompetent somehow. But anyway, so she she left, and so they're sending Stacy and Toji Tendo groups to a bunch of the different worlds that they've conquered to look for her. And um, Kaito and uh, the team and Zox and, and, and Flint want to try and find her. They're, they want to help him. Um, now it's less about profit for them and more about they actually do really care about him. Um, I think more Zox than Flint. I think Flint is just kind of going along for the ride because her brother is and hoping that this will get them to their goal of finding, like I said, the SD-topia gears to get, you know, their brothers back to being human. Which I wonder how they're going to run that because that means they won't have access to the mecha anymore unless they create separate Kikinoids to, to stand in for them or something. I don't know. But anyway... So the main plot of it is them going, um, traveling to different, the, 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 some of the different worlds. They actually get on the ship with, on the uh, Crocodile or whatever, on the ship with Flint and Zox, and they uh, go. They find out that they actually, some of the tech, tech that they stole from the Toji Tendo, besides making the, whoops, sorry about that, um, besides making the um, transformation device for uh, the Girdlinger, um, also they, they took the portal device thing, the, the, the parallel worlds device thing, and they have a version of it on their own ship. And that's how they've been traveling the worlds. Um, so they go, and they uh, first they go to the Moshi world. They remember the, the Arakawa Moshi or whatever it was, Moshi world monster? They go to that world. And when they're there, there's parallel world versions of people there, right? Both Kikanoids and humans. And because, because it's, uh, it's, it's Kaito, um, I think Vroon... No, no, not Kaito, Juran, and Gawan? Is it Kaito, Juran, Gawan? Or is Gawan stay here? I can't remember. Oh, no, no. It's Kaito, Juran, and Majin that go with uh, Zox and Flint and the SD Bot Bros. Anyway, the first one they go to is Mochi World. And um, because none of them have Mochi hats on, everybody thinks that they're perverts, that they're streakers, that are just naked. <laughs> So you get this funny part where Zoran's trying to ask for help, and this lady's like, ah! And she slaps him in the face. She goes, get away from me, you pervert! Oh my god, put a hat on! <laughs> um, and there's a running gag of this, like, Mr. Sue or something like that from, like, Kaito's, like, Our Earth, basically. And they keep running into versions of him throughout the different worlds. Like, they go from there, and they don't find the mom there, because they don't know where she went. So they're just traveling just a bunch of the different worlds, the ones that Zox and Flint have found so far. And so they go to that one, don't find her. Go to Retro World, don't find her. And so they're kind of stumped on where to go. And um, uh, in Retrotopia, they find another version of Mr. Sue again. And so they're kind of stumped on where to go. While this is happening, um, Gawan and Vroon are back home uh, keeping things safe. And they see some Toji Tendo are attacking at that point as well. So um, when we flip back to the main plot, Kaito comes up with a plan with Majin because she tries using her, like... Uh, uh, fortune teller abilities, trying to figure out where the mom is. So they set up this whole plan where they're going to make her look like, like uh, illusion magic herself to look like Kaito's mom. And so they get to, um, they don't know where to go next. And Flint has like, a, I think it's like a, um, uh, like a skewer with some meat on it or something. She's like, oh, let's just, whatever, let's just throw something to flag and see where it lands. And it lands on Ice World, where the Ice Ice World monster came from or whatever. The one where, I think it was Majin's debut. Um, and uh, they go there. 
And um, what they do is they trick the Toji Kendo into thinking that they found Mitsuko, um, Kaito's mom, and they, uh, they uh, Stacy and, and, and Kaito have a fight, of course. Of course, Zox transforms, and both of them go into their super forms and fight, of course. Um, they end up destroying, actually, Juragawan, um, like the, the black Juragawan version that Stace, uh, Stace Azer can put out, Stace Azer Kai. Um, I still love the Stace Azer Kai suit. Love it, love it, love it so much. Uh, so they destroy that. Um, they're beating up the Tojinendo, kick their butts. And actually, um, Zox, or not Zox, I mean, Stacy actually helps Mitsuko, well, Mitsuko in quote, meaning it's Majin, uh, and is like, this is for Yaptoday's sake. And um, so I, I do think that he will eventually, I think it's going to be Zox first fully, fully joining, because they actually pose in this episode, and he like stands aside like, Hey, get it done. It's just Zoran and and, and uh, Kaito transforming, like transforming together, and then doing the pose together, which is really funny. I love this whole shtick of like Zox like refusing to pose with them. I think it's really funny. Um, and so they beat the crap out of all the Toji Tendo and um, uh, end up leaving with Mitsuko, who it's not her clearly, but don't reveal that to the end. Um, and they come back and they show what they did and. Uh, Majin transforms back, and she's like, yeah, it's, it was the, you know, the second um, performance of the uh, Zenkaiju Theater Troupe, which that was a previous episode reference, I thought that was funny. Um, and so, basically, what Kaito says is, that was our, our plan, he's like, well, do we know where Mitsuko is? He goes, nope, we still don't. And he's like, are you okay with that? He's like, yeah. He's like, because I think, I know we'll find her. He said, he says that um, what he did was, he was trying to throw the Toji Tendo off the trail of Mitsuko for now, so they can find her kind of in peace, and also he was noticing that the Toji Tendo were still in these other worlds, um, and oppressing the people there, so he wanted to pull some of the pressure off of them. He's like, I know it's going to put maybe some more pressure back on Earth, but we can handle that. So he's like, I, I think we're going to do what we can to both protect Earth, and at certain points leave Earth to these parallel worlds to find my mom. So I kind of like that, and I like that about uh, Kaito in general, is that he's always about trying to help others, and even if it means it's slowing down his goal or something he's trying to get accomplished or something he's going for, whatever, it doesn't matter. He's always ready to help somebody else, and clearly we've seen that with Stacy, and uh, now clearly with finding his mother. It begs the question, too, if the dad is also there. We have not gotten anything that the dad is also in, you know, cryosleep there, just like the mom. I think maybe they mentioned that he was, but I don't know for sure. Um, I don't know exactly what's coming next. Now, the next episode is this manga world they're going to, which looks really cool. Manga, manga, whatever I want to say. Manga world, um, which looks really well, like, put together, really well designed and drawn and everything. Um, and uh, you did see a lot in this episode where I liked was Stacy kind of like ugh, about talking to Ijirud. Like he's clearly getting like to the point where he's like done being uh, Ijirud's like stooge basically. Um, so like I said, my prediction going forward is, well, let me before that. Uh, so overall the episode, I probably give it a strong 8 out of 10. It was a very quick episode. It was, the, the pacing was really fast. It had some really funny moments. And it did start to like push the the uh storyline for and i'm happy that we're going to start doing this more i was hoping we would do, we would do this where you travel to the parallel worlds what i'd like to see would be kind of cool is if we travel to parallel worlds does that mean we're going to travel to the sentai worlds does that mean we're going to get any you know uh any of the sentai you know you know the different rangers and stuff like the actors returning or whatever um i don't think we'll get full teams maybe one or two members of a team or something like that but um and they may not they may not be trying to do what gokaiger was doing but it leaves the possibility open there. Um, if anything, I'd like them to do something with Gokaiger, um, just because of how much you know Zox is based off of them and all of that, and you know their similarities and what they do, um, power-wise and everything. But um, but yeah. So my prediction going forward is that we're going to continue on this world hopping journey, and um, they'll find the mom. I think. I feel like there's going to be something tragic that's going to happen. I don't know if that means that something's going to happen to, to, to Zox, to Flint, to Kaito, anybody on the team. If it's going to be something with Stacy, where, like, he does start to reform, and then Ijiru does something to kind of, like, a kill switch thing to, like, kill him or to, like, bring him back to being controlled or something. Um, and if breaking out of that will, like, make a purified form of whatever his, of his Stace Azer form, maybe. Um, I do think that might happen. He might stay in the Stace Hazard thing, and that may just be what he does the rest of the show. He may even stay evil the whole way through. I don't know. But I do feel like there's a possibility of redemption for him. I also don't know what they're going to do with the dad. It may just be they find him, just like the mom, and everything's cool. I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that something bad's going to happen, where they're going to get close to finding him, and then he's going to end up, you know, 
either dying or sacrificing himself or he'll be with them for a while and then sacrifice himself. I don't know. But um, I just feel like there's going to be a little bit of a switch to being a tiny bit darker in the show going forward. Um, eventually at some point. I don't know where. Um, I know it seems odd thinking about it because it's a very bright and, and, and poppy and uh, optimistic show. So I get that. But um, I just feel like there's going to be some some kind of a little like tragic type moment coming up that's going to really kick things into gear. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's where I kind of feel on it. But I've, like, like I said, it was a really great episode. Um, wasn't as amazing as the last couple have been. I've really enjoyed the last few. Um, but I like that it was still pushing the plot forward um, and showing us that they're going to be more apt to doing things like this where they're hopping between worlds trying to find Kaito's mom and we're getting this thing where you can clearly see that um, Stacy being shown kindness by Yatsude has started to change him, started to make him more human, started to make him maybe question being a part of the Toji Tendo at all. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, as far as stuff coming up soon, clearly this weekend will be Revice Episode 3 will premiere and also Zenkaiju 28, of course, the Manga World, or Manga World episode, however you want to pronounce that. Um, I'm hoping pretty soon that my Revice driver will be here. I'll do an uh, unboxing and, you know, review of that, the sounds it makes, whatever. And also I did the, I got the uh, Legend Makeover series uh, Kuga Arkle. Um, so I'm hoping to do something with that once that comes in, be able to review it, maybe a Henshin video, something like that. Um... So yeah, um, and uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for content, leave it in the comments below. You know, what did you think of the episode today? Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think is going uh, for the storyline is going forward? Where do you think they're going to go with it? Um, just kind of let me know what your guys' thoughts were on the episode. And also, if you guys have suggestions for content, if there's certain shows out there you'd like to see me review besides just Rider and Sentai, if there's older shows, maybe some Metal Hero shows, you want me to watch a new Ultraman show. I've never watched Ultraman before. Um, I have thought about watching Ultraman Z. Trigger looks interesting, but I, 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 I kind of want to watch Z first to get a taste for it, see if I like it. And I want to be careful because I feel like if I like it too much, I'm going to start buying all the Ultraman stuff too. And I don't have money for that. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of content you want me to do, if you want me to start doing maybe a Power Rangers retrospective series where I talk about my favorite Ranger series or what have you, any other types of videos, maybe completely different, let me know in the comments. Again, I, I really, really... Really appreciate all of you that are subscribed. We're about 220 subscribers strong, which is crazy. I know it doesn't seem like a lot compared to other big name YouTubers, but it's big to me. Um, bigger than I started with when I turned the channel over to being Toku content. Um, but I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing the video, even disliking. Again, uh, interaction is interaction. doesn't bother me. Um, commenting, you know, watching the videos. Thank you guys so much. Um, I do it all for fun. Like I said, I'm not getting like enough views every video to make really any kind of money off of it, but it's something I kind of do in my free time to get my thoughts off my chest about the shows and what I like and different, you know, merch pieces and things like that. So anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. And as always, stay hooked on henchins, finger guns, pew, 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 pew. Okay, bye.